Uh, and I was scared, honestly. I was scared that, you know, maybe this isn't working. Maybe, you know, maybe there is something that we're missing and that I'm just never going to get better. All right, good morning vlog. Uh, pardon the hair, I just woke up, but it is uh, Monday, May 18th at approximately 6.30 a.m. And uh, I felt like going to the track this morning. Um, it's currently still really rainy and crappy, but I wanna go anyway. So that's what we're gonna do, just get a quick workout in this morning uh, and then get the week started. See ya. Hi, bud. Come on in, bud. Come on. <laughs> so I said, I said that I said that this is what you do in France, but it's actually Italian, and I messed up. But now I'm doing it to cars. So. Hey, how are you on this floor, man? <laughs> Did for a second. Dang, is it? You have to get health boys. Yeah, you have to I'm get, get health foods. Hi, buddy. Oh, don't let <laughs> no. him lick my lips. Sorry. Alright. <laughs> Why is this nine and this is three? That's the one that I always get. Melon medley. Melon medley. Juices. Yeah. What are you doing right here? Supporting probiotics and vitamins. Need weed. Alright, weed. Come out now. Go inside. Ah, uh, that's not inside. What are you doing? Come on. Okay, uh, so that was awkward. Um, I dropped my vlog camera coming into the house. As you can see, uh, the footage just cuts off after the camera hits the floor. And uh, yeah, I broke my G7X. So I don't know if you can see that there, but that lens is just pretty much hosed. Which sucks because the G7X was a nice camera and I, I did enjoy using it, but uh, I have a new replacement now which is a Sony a6400. I used to have a Sony a6300 and the great thing about this camera is that it shoots 4K. So now there's a big jump in quality and I really love the 4K footage that comes out of the Sony cameras. Uh, it's really sharp and crazy detailed, the autofocus is great, the low light performance is better. Uh, it's just all around a better camera and I enjoy using it more, so I guess it was a win.
Hello vlog, it is Wednesday, May 20th, <laughs> and uh, it's still a little early in the morning, about 8.45, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good today. Um, not gonna be doing much today, just gonna be doing some work, uh, probably take Veef out for a couple runs on the skateboard, um, go to Whole Foods, get my snack, and do a little bit of you know shopping as usual for some more fruit and stuff like that. Uh, and I also have a chiropractic adjustment today, um, so that's pretty much what's on the docket today. And guys, I actually just got this brand new bag. It's from a brand uh, called Terion, and uh, essentially it's a camera bag. Uh, that's the main purpose of it. So you can see it's kind of got this leather design, and you can open it up like this, and then in this first compartment is where you have your camera stuff. So pretty nice, and then there's a little compartment up here for, I don't know, you could put some books in there or like a, I don't know, a gimbal or something. And then in the back, you have a space for your laptop. Super nice, highly recommend it. Ready, bud? I'm, uh, I'm going to my appointment now. Oh, yeah. Bye, boo. Hey, guys. So I just got out of my uh, chiropractic appointment with Dr. Eric. Uh, it is currently 2.50, and uh, it was a great appointment. Lots of good stuff. Uh, I am making improvements. So with uh, the whole applied kinesiology thing, um, we are making gains uh, in the strength department, so you know, moving up from threes to fours and fours to fives. Uh, and my overall prognosis and you know, like curve of things improving is definitely getting better. So, I mean, obviously things are not linear, but um, that's never expected in a natural sort of healing approach. So uh, that's what we're doing. That's what's going on, and I'm honestly really excited. But. I wanted to just kind of be real with you guys for a sec and uh, say, you know, that I, I didn't really vlog a whole lot yesterday and um, there's a reason for that. And that's because there was some blood in my stool yesterday and um, I wasn't feeling like vlogging. I was feeling really discouraged. I was feeling really down uh, and I was scared, honestly. I was scared that, you know, maybe this isn't working. Maybe, you know, maybe there is something that we're missing and that I'm just never going to get better. And the truth is, is that throughout your healing journey, or really in anything in life, you're going to have to put up with setbacks. Setbacks are just a part of the game. They happen, but it's how you respond that will determine whether or not you succeed or you fail. And one of the mantras that I like to live by is that if you just make up your mind that you will not fail at something, then you are guaranteed success. It's really that simple. If you refuse to accept failure, then you will succeed. Now, notice I'm not saying refuse to fail because you will fail, you will have setbacks, you will have times where things are not going your way, things don't go your way. And if you're trying to heal from IBD right now, there are definitely going to be times like that. You are going to fail, you are going to get knocked down, there are going to be failures, but it's how you deal with those failures and how you take those and move to the next level, move to the next chapter of your development, of your healing journey, of your journey to becoming a doctor, journey to becoming an entrepreneur or a business owner, whatever it is, all of those things are important in your development and your progression towards your next stage and your next chapter of life. And so today I am feeling better, still a little bit on the loose side, um, but the blood seems to have gone. Uh, it must have just been a fluke or something. 
uh, and I'm going to be taking it up with Dr. Troy, of course. Just wanted to be upfront and honest with you guys about that because I'm still human, things still go wrong, and I wanted to document this setback, not as a failure and a time to be doom and gloom, but as a time to look forward and be on the other side of it mentally so that I can recover from it and keep moving forward. So that's all I wanted to say. Things are going well. Setbacks happen, you guys. You just got to deal with them. I'm here for you. We can all be here for each other as we should. And we can all move forward and we can all get better. Cool. Good talk. There's a fruit cup, as usual. Blueberries, strawberries, kiwi, blackberries, and raspberries. The bomb. Good din din. Don't take a picture of me. I am. I'm recording. Or Were you actually Yeah. Din din was good though. Snow glyph say wait what 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 is it exactly? I don't know. <laughs> it's just bleach. Pure glyphosate, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It's definitely, definitely summertime. Ah, uh, yeah. It's so nice out here. All right, guys. Uh, so I'm probably going to end the vlog right about here. Um, not too much going on, you know, just chugging right along. Food is still good. All the appointments going well. And, uh, yeah, don't be afraid of setbacks, guys. They always happen. But as long as you can keep your head in the game, get back in the saddle and keep moving forward. That's really what counts. And ultimately, that's what will determine your victory. So, love you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. I will talk to you sometime later. See you guys.